In this video, I will show you all the basics of video editing in Blender. So go to new and then video editing. And then let's start off with a uh, clip. So uh, just use whatever clip you have on your computer. I'm going to add a tutorial recording. And since there is no sound, I'm just going to press X to delete the sound clip. And then let's increase the end frame. And then we can remove the beginning of the video. So uh, press K to split and then X to delete, and then backspace to remove the gap. Okay, and then next we can make a transition when we go from Chrome to Blender. So I press K to split the clips, and then press G to grab, and then hold in shift and select both of them. Go to add, transitions, and then let's set it to wipe. As you can see, we now have a transition. We can also change the transition type and the direction of the transition. I'm going to set it to in. And then you can change the angle as well. So I'm going to make it 90 degrees so that it moves on the side. Okay, so now that you know how to cut out parts of a clip and how to make transitions, we're going to add some text. So just go to add and then text, and then make sure it's on top. And then you can press G to grab. And then to edit the text, you just go in to the settings on the right side. I want to type in, press X to delete. And then once again, you can grab it by pressing G. And then if you want to change the font of the text, you just go to open and you're going to go into the Windows font library, at least if you're using uh, Windows. So well, let's choose this one, for example. And when it's fully rendered, you will see that the text is very sharp. Okay, and then next we can uh, change the size of the text. I also like to make the text fade in and fade out in my videos. And uh, before we do that, I'm just going to add a box to the text as well. It makes it easier to read the texts. You can also change the box margin. And if you want to, you can reduce the amount of uh, transparency in the box by changing the alpha value. Okay, so uh, let's animate the opacity of the text. So press I to keyframe, and then go to the last frame of the text, and then set the opacity to zero and press I to keyframe. And then we can do the same here. I to keyframe, and then set it to zero, and then I to keyframe. In addition to animating the opacity of the text, you can also animate the location of the texts. So uh, let's uh, start off at uh, this location, press I to keyframe. And let's go to one of the later frames. And then we can change the X value, for example, I to keyframe. As you can see, it now fades in and out and moves as well. Now, let's say you want to speed up a part of the video. So uh, let's press K. And then I'm going to speed up this part. So I'm going to press K again, select this clip. And then we're going to go into time and then show retiming keys. And then select the beginning. And then I'm going to select the end. Sometimes you have to do that to make it work. And I press G to grab. And as you can see, we now speed up the clip. So now it's going to be much faster. And in my experience, this is the fastest way to uh, speed up clips in uh, Blender. And then to undo, you just press Ctrl or C. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to render it. First, you go to the last frame and then paste that into the end frame. And then set the resolution to 200 if you want 4K. If not, just leave it at 100 at 1080p. And then you need to select a folder for the final file. Just going to put it in my tutorial folder and call it test. 
And then to increase the video quality, I'm going to set the encoding to uh, perceptually lossless. And then go to render. And then render animation. 